we make new trailers along the lines of the American retro style, a bit like Airstream or um, various brands that were out in the 1950s. It's really to try and reproduce the old style, but in a new trailer. It's our own chassis, it's our own body, it's all our own design. Then the interiors are all bespoke to the customer's requirement. Things like this are popular in Europe, places like Holland, France and Germany. They seem to like the retro style. I was thinking of exporting and it was just a thought which never went any further. And then uh, UK Trade and Investment contacted me out of the blue and said, was I thinking of exporting my product? I was encouraged to join the Passport to Export scheme and uh, they helped me with the application process for the European trademark and the benefits were them telling me how to approach people overseas to find a potential distributor. I didn't know how I would find somebody suitable uh, so they helped me via the embassy and they came up with a name and the first name we came up with uh, they said yes they were interested and it's gone from there and they've now become our distributors in Holland. I think I just needed that push really, somebody to just encourage me. I, I would have thought I need help with this but I wouldn't have known who to ask and I, I jumped at the chance because I thought yeah these, these are just the people I was looking for. We sell direct in the UK but when it's overseas we really need somebody who's got facilities to be able to do uh, warranty work, after sales service, uh, any modifications, that sort of thing. We need somebody with facilities. So we send uh, a, a basic shell over to them and then they do most of the appliance fitting over there. And I think it needs that service backup local to where it's sold. And that's why we do it through a dealer overseas. Exporting will increase our sales. Of course, we want to make as many trailers as we can. And it's just nice to think of your product going overseas and going around the world. I think if UK Trade and Investment hadn't called me uh, when they did, I think we would still just be selling in the UK. I don't think I would have got exporting off the ground.